What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have this 2020 Ford F350 6.7 diesel and today we're gonna program the injectors. So we have the codes written already here. The injectors are already installed and well uh, they turn on the truck and it's not idling good because it needs the injectors to be programmed. But um, I was using my scanner and it only supports to the year 2000. 17 I believe uh, from that on you actually need the Wi-Fi to access but we're gonna use the force scan we're gonna use this program right here for scan so we're gonna open the program and we need actually Wi-Fi for it so let me just put this brighter all right so we have this truck and it's gonna read the B number of the truck. It's already reading it. As you can see, we have 2020 6.7 diesel. And like I said, I was trying to use this, the scanner, the IM608, to do the procedure, but it wasn't working. So, tenemos esta troca 2020, es una diesel F350 con el 6.7 y tenemos que reescribir los códigos para los inyectores porque los acaban de reemplazar. Y con mi escáner no lo pude hacer porque nomás llega hasta el 2017, entonces vamos a usar el Forescan para hacer esto. Y como pueden ver ya me comuniqué con el carro. So as you can see, I already uh, gathered all the information from the car. So we're going to hit this one, I believe it's the wrench right here. And you see right there the wrench and we need to do change injector correction factor. So we actually we're gonna read it first and we're gonna press this one right here as you can see we have uh, the codes right here and we actually uh, he actually tells us uh, the way that the engine is configured como pueden ver ya estamos aquí y hasta nos dice como está configurado el motor entonces um, aquí podemos cambiar la calibración para los inyectores y pues tenemos que poner uno nuevo Bueno, ya están puestos los nuevos, entonces hay que reescribir las calibraciones. Pero aquí nomás lo estoy leyendo, entonces vamos a darle alto. Y vamos a ir otra vez a procedimientos, service procedures. We're going to change the fuel injector correction factor. So we're going to press OK. And as you can see here, it tells us the fuel injection correction will be changed. And you need to carry out this every time you change a injector or you do some work on the injector. So... As you can see it says it's a 10 digits long and we have all the data right here so they actually wrote this a little bit wrong entonces vamos a cambiar esto vamos a proceder entonces voy a empezar a escribir todo ok y vamos a empezar con ese de aquí f9 entonces ahorita vengo voy a pasar el video entonces ahorita voy a escribir esto so i'm gonna write this down in there and i'll be back all right all right, so we have the data already written and it was actually reading this way. So we have the engine like this and well, the one starts on the other side. It says front left and front right. So it starts one, two, three, four and well, you get the data. I mean the, the idea. So entonces como pueden ver ya escribí los números, ya pude ponerlos a como van ya. Escribí todo, entonces ahora vamos a guardar la información. So we're gonna save the information now. We're gonna set yes and we're gonna turn ignition off. We're gonna press OK. It's OK. So something's wrong here. So let me just do, do something really quick. I think I didn't do something right. So it looks like like Forescan couldn't do it. So we're gonna try FJDS, which is the same thing like IDS, but this is for J2534. Gonna open the switch and we're gonna gain communication. So parece que el Forescan no pudo programar los inyectores en esta 2020. Entonces vamos a usar el, el FJDS que es equivalente al IDS. Y vamos a ver qué es lo que sucede. The toolbox. Start new session. We're going to establish communication with the car. Yes. That's the car. So this is kind of weird. What's going on? 
all right so let me just go back and i'm gonna connect to the wi-fi okay so right now we're using this program called FJDS. so i was trying to i was gonna use the fjds but it's the older system so this is now the new system for this 2020 forts so you can see i got communication with my device which is that one it's uh, compatible with that one and you can configure it here once you install the program so it's together with the uh, fjds those two things communicate together and well i couldn't figure it out but you have to make an account uh, in in order to make it work so as you can see i picked the best <laughs> i put uh, my username there and you have to create password and a lot of work but right now it's uh downloading the data from the server so you can communicate with the car and we will be able to do um reprogramming and all that all right so i'll be back when i get all the information from this car estamos aquí entonces necesitamos programar y pues requiere internet esto como pueden ver aquí está corrección de factores vamos a descargarlo como pueden ver ahí se está descargando you can see it's downloading everything and we need to correct the injectors we're gonna run it it's gonna take us to this carry out this function if one or new fuel injectors have been installed so we already installed those and we have the codes each fuel injector has individual code, blah, 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 blah. So we press continue. And it's gonna read the module. Ignition off, ignition on, engine off. Reading fuel injectors from the PCM. And we continue. So we're gonna update the cylinder one first. And see if we can select all of them. So we're gonna select yes. Continue, and we're gonna put the new code. It's gonna be F F three F F F C B zero four zero. So we're gonna press OK and select the require. Press select hit next and it's already updated so I'm gonna do the same thing with all of them and I'll come back okay, pues ya escribimos los números. so the numbers are ready and we're ready to write the fuel injector so we're gonna press select waiting for the PCM to respond and be updated so we're gonna turn the ignition off ignition is off I'm gonna press continue, waiting for module to forward down. I took my temperature, 63 degrees. Okay. Waiting for module forward down. Okay, so I'm gonna open the switch now. Chill well. <laughs> y presionamos siguiente, so we press next. You're in the fuel injectors, you can make sure we got the numbers right. And we see F3, this is uh, cylinder one, and images. So there's the injectors are already programmed. Just programmed the injectors. Exitosamente. So now we're going to And we the ignition switch. And ya ya terminó. Y listo. Okay, so what we're going to do next. Lo que vamos a hacer. Vamos a programar las calibraciones de todas las computadoras. Como pueden ver aquí hay actualizaciones. So tenemos un módulo de update. Aquí software update, software update. 
entonces vamos a descargar todos, primero el de la computadora y vamos a programar todo alright so download the calibration file the part number and we see the percentage aquí aquí vamos a porcentaje de descarga para la actualización una vez que llega al 100% pues va a empezar a hacer la actualización y está descargando las demás también de una vez ok entonces so we have selected uh, multiple modules so they're gonna be programmed at the same time and we're gonna wait for the process so it should, shouldn't take the, the long before commencing this procedure connect to a suitable external power supply to maintain that so we're gonna continue ignition on and off press ok and it's gonna establish communication so ahí va actualizar actualizar todos los modos de una vez it's going fast we have 13 volts so it's it's going fast ok pues ya me lo termina it's almost done we are on the ninth step queda poquito tiempo entonces Vamos a esperarlo a ver qué hace. Okay, so let's check in the software download. Ya termina. Ya escuchamos ruido, so we heard noises. So it looks like it's done. And now the modules will be configured. The database. Turn, turn the ignition off. Vamos a apagar el switch. Ahí está. Damos enter. Y termina la aplicación. So it's done. So we're going to open the switch again. And for commission to see, connect the battery. So we are done. Ignition off and it's ready. Ready, ready. Okay, so now it's gonna do the same thing with the nitrogen oxide. So we're gonna turn ignition on and way more. Entonces, como ven, ya se terminó todo. Ya todos los modos están actualizados y pues verdes vida. So as you can see, all the modules are programmed, all the codes are clear and the job is done all right guys so this will be pretty much the end of the video if you like the information please don't forget to give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel comment down below and well i'll see you on the next episode you fix up